Hi everybody and welcome to Hallstatt. Today I will go on a travel walking tour through Hallstatt and show you the best views of this famous tourist destination in Austria. Let's check it out. Hallstatt is a small town in the Austrian Alps in the Austrian state of Upper Austria. Situated between the southwestern shore of Hallstatter See and the steep slopes of the Dachstein Massif, the town lies in the Salzkammergut region, not far from Salzburg. If you are planning to visit Austria, a visit to Hallstatt should definitely be on your travel bucket list. Why is Hallstatt so famous? Hallstatt is a World Heritage Site and one of the most famous tourist destinations in Austria. It's known for its production of salt dating back to prehistoric times and gave its name to the Hallstatt culture, the archaeological culture linked to early Celtic people of the Iron Age in Europe that dates back to 800 to 450 before Christ. This and its beautiful location at the shores of Lake Hallstatt with the backdrop of the Dachstein mountain makes it a must-see travel destination when visiting Europe. But Hallstatt is also just a small village and it's at times struggling with over-tourism. So is Hallstatt too touristy? Well, in 2020 the town had a population of 780 and welcomes between 10,000 to close to 30,000 tourists per day. Many of the tourists come with bus tours which bring tourists briefly into the town for photo opportunities then quickly move on. Due to its geographic location, there is no room for expansion and it takes a logistical effort to welcome and host the massive amounts of people every day. Halsa tourism began in the 19th century but greatly increased when it became popular among Asian tourists when it was featured in a South Korean television show in 2006. It's become a social media phenomenon since and was captioned the most Instagrammable town in the world. Even a complete replica of Halsted was built in China in 2011. By 2017, local churches were even employing bouncers to prevent services being disrupted by tourists. Going forward, the town will be focusing on quality tourism. Assigned time slots for tour buses and limitation of buses will help cope with over-tourism. Buses with an overnight booking in the town will receive preference. But yes, Halsted is definitely one of the world's major tourist destinations. If you don't like crowds, you should go see some of the other beautiful towns and lakes in the Salzburg area. St. Gilgen and St. Wolfgang are beautiful Austrian towns and offer spectacular lake views as well. Gosa is just a short drive from Hallstatt and most definitely worth seeing. The stunning lakes of Altausee, Grundlsee, Fuschelsee and Traunsee are not to be missed when visiting the Salzburg region. All are truly beautiful and less touristy. Check out my videos on these travel destinations in the links below. You may ask yourself, how do I get to Hallstatt? Well, I came to Hallstatt by car from Salzburg. This in itself is a beautiful scenic drive which I will be posting in another video as well. But no matter from which side you approach Hallstatt, the first information is waiting for you at the start of the town. Available parking spaces are marked on electronic displays. If you come from Salzburg, you will go through a tunnel behind Hallstatt. Can you drive to the center by car? Well, unless you are a resident of Hallstatt, this is not possible. If you stay at one of the apartments and hotels in the center, shuttle buses bring you there. If you are visiting for the day, you will have to park your car at one of several large parking spaces outside of the town. But they are all in walking distance to the historic center and the walk there is actually really nice. Note that the parking is not free and it's actually on the more expensive side. But you can pay you for your ticket with cash and credit card. Until the late 19th century, it was only possible to reach Hallstatt by boat or via narrow trails. The land between the lake and mountains is narrow and the town itself exhausts every free patch of it. The first road to Hallstatt was only built in 1890, partially by rock blasting along the west shore. Nevertheless, this secluded and inhospitable landscape counts as one of the first places of human settlement due to the rich sources of natural salt, which have been mined for thousands of years. Some of Hallstatt's oldest archaeological finds date back to around 5,500 before Christ. In 1846, a large prehistoric cemetery near the current location of Hallstatt was found with over 1,000 burials and around 2,000 individuals. So what can you see in Hallstatt? Well, you should definitely go for a walk through the historic town center and enjoy the amazing views of Lake Hallstatt. If you bring some time, you can also go on a boat ride on the lake. There are several must-see attractions in the town as well. 
definitely check out the beautiful market square right in the historic town center. It almost looks too perfect to be real. When you are there, also check out the historic church right next to it. If you want to learn more about how people of Hallstatt lived up to 7,000 years ago, you should check out the Hallstatt World Heritage Museum. There you can go back in time to the beginnings of the ancient salt mining town. You'll learn how the Iron Age, known as Hallstatt culture, was named after the town. On a unique journey through time, historical events are presented in an interesting and informative manner, with video animations, holographic and 3D presentations, and lifelike dioramas. A floating light sword, a spectacular flight over Hallstatt and a 3D journey through time are some of the highlights of Hallstatt's World Heritage Museum. So I'm walking now past on the other side.
Night of Halstead. Past the church, the two churches actually. And uh, from this side you also have a really nice view of the lake and of the center of the village. It's just beautiful. And it's a perfect day today as well. The weather couldn't be better. Blue skies, a few clouds. It's just fantastic. This is unfortunately something that you never really can be sure of. The weather can change quite a bit here in the mountains. Sometimes it's quite rainy here. In this whole area actually around Salzburg. But today is just a perfect day. Also take a walk to the upper town where you can get the world famous postcard views of Lake Hallstatt and over the rooftops of Hallstatt Town Center. From there, visit St. Michael's Chapel. The Baroque Michael Altar stands in the eastern section of the chapel and dates back to 1612. Right next to the chapel you will find the perhaps most curious site of Hallstatt, the Hallstatt Charnel House. This bone house dates back to the 12th century and is located next to the Catholic parish church. Here you can visit a truly unusual and unique collection of over 600 artistically painted skulls. But beware, this is not something for the faint-hearted and may not be for everyone's taste. Skull painting was carried out primarily during the 19th century and belonged to a cultural area that mainly consisted of the Eastern Alpine region. Even during modern times, this custom has still been used in Hallstatt. Hallstatt is home to the largest collection of skulls ever. There is so little space for cemeteries that every 10 years bones used to be exhumed and removed into an ossuary to make room for new burials. When an existing grave was reused for a new burial, the skulls or bones were transferred from the grave to the charnel house as part of a second funeral. The identity of the deceased family members was preserved by decorating paintings and inscriptions. Depending on the family relationship or based on artist choice, the skulls were labeled with names or initials.
How many days should you spend in Hallstatt? Well, I'd say you can spend a good three to four hours in the town itself. If you bring some more time, you can go up the mountain with the Hallstatt Salt Mountain Railway Funicular and visit the oldest salt mine in the world. The train runs every 15 minutes in high season and takes you to the mountain station in about two minutes. The train ticket and entrance to the salt mine cost 34 euros for adults. If you feel like getting some exercise, you can also walk up the mountain. The hike from Hallstatt Center to the Salzburg Mountain takes around one to one and a half hours and offers stunning views of Lake Hallstatt. This makes Hallstatt a great one-day tour destination. The salt mine is located directly behind the Rudolfstorm. The tower dates back to 1284 and served as a defensive tower to protect the chimneys and bucket buildings of the Hallstatt Salt Mountain. The visit to the Salt Mountain includes a very informative tour and a mega slide. If you are looking for a little thrill and want to enjoy the breathtaking alpine panorama of Hallstatt and the Dachstein Mountain, you should go on the impressive viewing platform, the Skywalk World Heritage View. It is located directly at the Rudolfstorm. So is Hallstatt worth visiting? I'd say yes, definitely. Even if you don't make it up the Salzburg Mountain, a visit is well worth it. And which is better, Salzburg or Hallstatt? Well, Hallstatt is very different from Salzburg, which is a much bigger town. I have another video in Salzburg to show you my top sightseeing spots there, so check those out. But if you're already in Upper Austria and maybe plan to visit Salzburg, Hallstatt is only a one hour drive away. The drive from Salzburg to Hallstatt is one of the most beautiful and scenic drives in Austria. You pass several lakes, beautiful towns such as Fuschel, St. Gilgen, St. Wolfgang, Bad Ischl and Bad Geusern. All are worth a visit and I have separate videos on those beautiful Austrian towns as well, linked below. So Hallstatt is definitely worth seeing in summer or in winter, but come early to avoid the tourist crowds. I was there rather early in the morning and it was the best time to visit Hallstatt. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a like down below and leave me a comment in the comment section. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to get updates on my weekly new videos on beautiful Austria and many other amazing travel destinations. I see you in my next video. Have a great rest of the day.